Thousands of dollars worth of materials and equipment were transferred to the government of Grenada via the Ministry of Agriculture from the People's Republic of China approximately one year before the conclusion of the eighth phase of the China-Grenada Agricultural Technical Cooperation Project. During a handover ceremony at the Chinese Agricultural Farm in Lasages on Thursday, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Isaac Bagwan, along with Yin Chao, head of the Chinese Agricultural Mission, formally signed off on the equipment and materials. They include tillers, a tractor, irrigation systems, and water pumps, all intended to enhance agricultural production in the country. Permanent Secretary Bagwan underscored the significance of the enduring friendship between Grenada and the People's Republic of China, particularly in their efforts to support farmers and boost agricultural productivity. This support, of course, will go a very long way in assisting our farmers and hopefully to enhance our productivity, the farmers' productivity, and of course the long-term impact, of course, is to reduce in terms of our food import bill and of course to have healthy food for consumption, consumption for our public. With regards to the construction project, also, as was mentioned before, a bamboo facility will be built right here in Lasages. A number of Grenadians have previously participated in training courses in China, and with this facility, we expect more persons to be trained, but more, more importantly, increase alternative use of bamboo, a huge resource in Grenada. The partnership between Grenada and the People's Republic of China began more than 19 years, yielding benefits such as equipment, technical assistance, and materials distributed to farmers. Chinese Ambassador Wei Hongshen expressed optimism that the contributions will further the development and modernization of the agricultural sector. I think uh, the days even also means a lot. As Mr. Yin mentioned that the donation of the materials equipment include, including tractors, hand tractors, hand tillers, small tillers, lawn mowers, pumps, and other materials equipment <coughs> that will be used in this center or other places. It, it means a lot. I hope this will be helpful. And, uh, <coughs> for the further <coughs> cooperation between the two countries in this sector <coughs> and we benefit the local farmers and we make contribution, more contribution for the further development of Grenada agriculture, promotion, agriculture, modernization, and most important is that for food security. Thursday's event also featured a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of a bamboo training facility on the premises of the Chinese agricultural farm. Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell, who attended the ceremony and has been a recipient of bamboo products from the People's Republic of China, highlighted the facility's potential to enhance Grenada's capacity in bamboo production. With the natural resources we have, and bamboo is a perfect example, if we apply the right knowledge and if we apply the technology, it shows how we can use the natural resources that we have that oftentimes we ignore or view as a waste or oftentimes a hindrance uh, to make products that are useful to our daily lives and to make products that can be sold uh, to assist us in our agro-processing, in our farming, and frankly in the use of utensils, uh, ornaments, and other uh, produce that can be obtained from bamboo. Uh, for our sustenance. It is a very resilient plant. It is a plant that grows very quickly uh, and has significant benefits both for the environment and for us. And oftentimes we import very expensive items that are sometimes made in, in very difficult circumstances that are harsh to the environment and we ignore the natural resources that we have here. So we are happy uh, that this cooperation agreement also includes technology exchange and knowledge exchange to make sure that all citizens can benefit from this so that we can convert natural resources, which oftentimes go to waste, uh, to our benefit. So I look forward to our students, our retirees, and those in between making use of this opportunity uh, to learn the, the technology. The current eighth cycle is scheduled to conclude in the third quarter of 2025. Preliminary discussions have already commenced for the ninth phase, focusing on areas such as irrigation, greenhousing and pig production.